Hello and thanks for watching a new series called 21 for 21. I'm Andy Stevenson. I'm a TV producer and radio reporter. I've been to three Paralympic Games and over the next few weeks I'll be attempting to interview 21 Paralympians around the world to see how they're getting on during lockdown. And my first guinea pig is reigning Paralympic table tennis champion, Strictly Come Dancing, Hot Shot and All Round Good Egg, Will Bailey. So, Will, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, really good. Strange times, but um, yeah, just, just trying to power on and get through it, man. And who are you in lockdown with and where? Um, just with my family here. And, um, and yeah, we're just, uh, we're just taking it a day by day by day. Luckily, I'm so lucky we've got a garden. So we've been outside um, playing a bit. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, been, it's been weird. It has been weird. It's Bella, isn't it, your daughter? How old is she now? Yeah, Bella, she's two two years old and um yeah, she's keeping me busy to be fair. I mean, it's been nice to spend such a long time with her because obviously I'm I train in Sheffield full time. So like I've never really had this sort of amount of time to spend with my family. So I mean it's been quite brilliant actually to have a bit of time with them. But um I am itching to get back to playing table tennis, obviously because of my injury I haven't played for such a long time now anyway. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting back and, and training hard. So what are the Will Bailey kind of parenting, you know, magic advice? What are the, what are the Will oh, Bailey tips? I'm the soft one. I, I'm, I'm the one that sort of like uh, just lets her get away with so much. But uh, to be fair, I'm because uh, I've been away so long, because I haven't had the time to spend with her, I've just sort of spoiled her really in these first few weeks. I think I think now when it get, if it goes on for much longer, I'm getting a bit sterner as we go along. along but... Um, no, to be honest, it's just been great to spend some time and, and to chill out a bit. And um, obviously, like everyone else, I think everyone's looking to try and get back to normal as quickly as possible. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I've got this image of you like putting Bella in front of videos of your classic matches over the years. Yeah. <laughs> you know me too well. Yeah, I'm like, look at that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this is my final. She doesn't want to watch, she doesn't want anything to do with uh, table tennis, I don't think. But she knows trying to put that she knows what happens, but you show her it again and again. Yeah, exactly, exactly. She's like, this is boring, Will, this is boring. I'm like, she wants princesses and stuff like that. I'm like, no, fella, this, yeah. is, this is Will Bailey's final world championship. <laughs> so obviously with your table tennis, you know, you were, you were in the middle of a, of a pretty serious recovery from, from a bad injury, the injury you picked up. Uh, yeah. So sort of tell us how your, how your recovery was going, because you'd had surgery, hadn't you, on your, on your knee? Yeah. Yeah, so I tore my ACL, um, obviously, during Strictly, and that's obviously a really serious injury. Um, Is that but, like, in the background? Bella in the background, yeah, Bella in the background playing. But, like, um, obviously, I did my rehab, and it was going so well. Um, and then, um, yeah, just, uh, just like, this happened. And, I, I mean, I've, I've only three months post-surgery, so it's kind of a six-month recovery to be playing full-time. So... I mean, um, I'm getting there. Though. I'm getting stronger every single day. And I've just ordered a bike. Uh, she'll be here on Thursday. So I'm looking forward to getting on that and trying to just... I'm just maintaining, really, what I can do. And then, yeah, I've got another few months till I'm fully fit. So you, you were actually in, in quite an unusual position, I guess, because the, the year postponement was of the Paralympics, was that something that actually came as a bit of a relief to you? Or were you a bit sort of fed up about that like everyone else? Yeah, to, I mean, to be honest, it was it was a big relief because, um, you know, I didn't know 100% I was going to be fully fit, fully fit for Tokyo. And uh, obviously it would have been, I wouldn't have had that long training. So before, which, you know, you obviously need at this sort of level. So I was I was kind of like, um, well, I mean, I mean, I was, just, I was relieved, but obviously it's a disaster for everyone. But I mean, in that, in that, in that, in that sporting sports wise, I mean, it has done me a big favour because, um, I've got a massive chance now to regain my title if I really focus and knuckle down. Yeah, we'll see. And then you touched on it there. I mean, if the Games had been this August in 2020, would you have been there fully fit, do you think? Be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think I would have definitely been there. Um, the thing is, I don't know if I'd have been fully fit. I mean, I mean, I think I would have been there and I would have been competing as well as I can do. Um, but, I mean, it, w it was a massive challenge to make it back fully fit. I think anyone who's had that sort of injury in ACL uh, reconstruction um, knows how difficult that is to come back um, uh, quickly. You know, it's really, really hard. So, especially when you're twisting and turning and changing directions. So, I mean, I was just, I'm kind of relieved that I've got a bit more time to sort of take, 
take time on my rehab and get fully fit. And yeah, I'm, I'll be in really good shape next year for sure. So six or seven months on now from from Strictly, how do you reflect on that experience? Oh, it was, a, it was a brilliant, brilliant experience. I mean, no regrets at all. I mean, I gave it everything and uh, had a good partner in Jeanette as well. And I don't know how far I would have got, but I was loving it. And um, yeah, you never know. I might have another chance shot at something to do with it again. Maybe a Christmas special or something would be quite fun. So yeah, I'd like. I'd still feel like I've got some unfinished business on the dance floor. Are you still in contact with with people? Did you make sort of good, solid friends on that show? Yeah, yeah, I got on with uh, I got on with all of them to be honest, and uh, we all stuck together. And I think I think we had a good group because we didn't have there wasn't any egos or anything like that. We're all in it together, and I was lucky we had such a good group that year. I mean, I got on with everyone. And were you able to use dance at all, or any of the stuff you learned during Strictly as part of your rehab from from the injury? I mean, do you find yourself yeah. slipping into a a tango or something <laughs> when you're bored? <laughs> yeah, to be honest, like it's helped me with my balance in a, in a silly way because I was working on it every single day, my balance, which it was no good because of my condition. It was, I really struggled with that and I improved it so much just doing little exercises with Jeanette, like to try and improve my balance. Um, and uh, obviously for dance, it's absolutely vital. So it's really improved me actually. So I'm excited to try and use that when I get back fully fit and see if it can improve my movement ar around the table and my balance. Just thinking about this, this kind of current crisis again obviously you know there's a lot of love around for the NHS at the moment and it it struck me that you know you in particular I guess actually sort of disabled people in general actually you know broadly will have had um, experiences with the NHS in some cases you know throughout throughout our life but, you know you in particular you, you must feel a really strong gratitude anyway to the NHS even before mm. the situation. Massive uh, because uh you know, obviously, I've I've been involved with the NHS all my life. You know, since I was born, and um, you know, without them, I wouldn't be in the anywhere near the position I'm in. I probably wouldn't be here. So I owe them my life. And um, you were in Great Ormond Street, weren't you? Yeah, Great Ormond Street for when I was born with arthrogryphosis, and then when I had cancer when I was seven, I was there as well. So I've been often back and forth, and still go back there now because uh, I was on a trial drug. So I still go back there to see, you know, how it affects my body. So. I mean, it's it, I've had a like like a lifelong relationship with Cromer Street and, and the NHS, and yeah, I do owe them uh, everything. So, and I just find it amazing, like what they can, what they do for people, and how selfless they are, and how much um, you know, it's how much courage they have. So, and um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it means a lot to me that they get supported, and um, anything that I can do to help, I try and I try and do that. And we must mention your your GB. Paralympic teammate Kim Daybell, who's a yeah. doctor. I've been reading about him. Are you in touch with him at all? Is it? Is, is, yeah, has... yeah. I've been messaging Kim a few times actually, just to say like how, how brilliant he's doing and stuff like that, and just that I'm behind how behind him I am of you know, and I, I just think he's he's incredible and uh, yeah, he's doing really well actually. He's really positive. He's, he said it is hard hard times at the moment. Obviously, he's, it's not easy, and he's you know. He's, having ups and downs but I think he's um he's such a strong character and uh, yeah he's just a real hero for us and we're we're proud of him uh, as table tennis players to have him in the squad we're really proud to say that he's one of one of us you know very well said so on a lighter note then to finish so with Bella what so what is your kind of um what's your go-to what do you kind of sit her in front of or, or to oh, get I got, my, my go-to is Peppa Pig is always good Channel six two six two zero straight on, um, and uh, and uh, she likes princess games at the moment. So I've been downloading. So my phone is full of apps of princess games and stuff like that. So um, if that all, all fails, then chocolate cake's always a good one. It's chocolate, <laughs> <laughs> chocolate cake, pepper pig, isn't it? I know it's not healthy, but um, yes. Occasionally on Easter Easter day, she likes her chocolate cake. So yeah, just anywhere, any ways at the moment to keep her keep her happy, but. I think it's been tough because um, she's just started preschool and stuff like that. So she's got so much energy. She wants to do things all the time. So, but um, no, she's been brilliant. And I dare say you must have a table tennis table in the garage or something or in the shed or whatever. Are you, are you able to practice properly at the moment? Or No, to be honest, um, to be honest, I can't really twist or anything anyway. I can't really play full out anyway, but um, I'm just doing my rehab at the moment in the garden and um and um, Bella's, Bella's helping me out. She's keeping me positive. She's keeping me going, to be fair. She's, uh, 
I'll, I'll try to let her, make her play some balls and hit. I've got her a little bat as well. So, um, yeah, we'll see, see how good she can get soon. Because I was going to ask you, what's the first thing you're going to do when life gets back to normal? But I guess it will be to, to try and get back on the table. And... <laughs> exactly. Exactly. To try and get back playing and to, and to get back fit and to, and, to, and to be competing is what I really want to do. And um, I think if... Um, I think we'll all be better people after this and I'll be so grateful that when I go back to training, just, just being able to play, just being able to hit a ball and being able to talk to people and being able to uh, joke around in the training hall, that's what I miss the most, uh, just being able to train with my teammates because uh, I've known that for all my life since I was sort of like 14, 15 years old. I've been training six hours a day, just playing table tennis every day. So it's been weird not playing, not being around people, um, but it's one of those things, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll leave you and Bella to it. I'm sure you've got a couple awesome. to go and watch. But uh, thanks yeah. for your time, and uh, we're all really looking forward to seeing you back in action. Thanks, mate. Great seeing you. Thanks for that. Cheers, Cheers Will. Bye, mate.